Whew. Hey there, YouTube. Have you ever had one of those, like, weekends that just seem like forever? Well, this Labor Day weekend was one of those weekends. Let me tell you about my weekend. A few weeks back, I moved my daughter into her first apartment. She lives in Austin, she goes to UT, uh, lived in the dorm last year. She was mostly miserable. She moved into an apartment, very nice apartment, much nicer than my current living establishment. She decided uh, that she was ready to have her dog. So this last year and some, we've, been, we've had her dog, Demon, rightfully named. So I get up Saturday morning, head on out, and go to Austin. She has roommates, so I'm trying to be quiet and make this breakfast. So my daughter's big thing is she wants me to make her breakfast. She has a certain breakfast that she loves. It's called eggs in a basket. It's one of my mom's recipes. It's basically where you take bread, you cut a hole in it, you put an egg and you fry it inside the bread and you fry the bread with it. And it's very simple, but apparently it's difficult for her to make. And so when I come to visit or she comes home, I tend to make this for her. She loves it. Demon, you want their food? Her dog loves it as well. He basically likes anything that's not dog food. Everywhere I go are these like really cool scooters. They're electric scooters. And I haven't ridden a scooter since I was probably six or seven years old. And I just see them everywhere. Like they're all over the place. Everybody, absolutely everyone's riding a scooter. Like there are no other transportation other than cars and scooters. Well, maybe bicycles. Possibly a few motorcycles, but mostly scooters. And so I want to give them a try. I'm a little apprehensive. I really don't want to ride the scooter like downtown where she lives because there's too many spectators, you know, like, so if I wipe out, everyone's going to see me or I'm going to get hit by a car in the crosswalk or something. And so I'm a little, just like that much nervous. I ask her, is there any other place these things are at other than downtown? And she tells me they're all over the place. Just about everywhere in Austin has these scooters. She knows a park that's nearby that we can go to that has free parking because parking is absolutely the worst. Everywhere you go, you have to pay for parking in Austin. It is ridiculous. The five things that I hate about Austin are parking, 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 and parking. That's it. In the country, you can park anywhere you want. Like you could probably just park in someone's yard. No one cares where you park in the country. In Austin, it all matters. So I'm going to the car the next morning. I go to leave and I looked very closely before I parked in the garage nearby and it said it was $15 for every 24 hours that you stay in the garage. Those were its exact specifications. $15 per 24 hours. I stayed about 18 hours in the garage. I go to leave, they charge me 30 bucks. At this point, I decided I'm not staying another night because I can't afford another $30 in parking. I'm a teacher, I make no money. I decide then I'm gonna leave early. But I haven't ridden the scooters yet. 
So I decide to go ride the scooters. As I go to find the place, we get to the park that she said had free parking. You gotta pay for parking everywhere. Okay, I'm a lot testy. I'm very annoyed at this point. And so I'm on a parking rampage, and so everyone's just ignoring me because I'm in a mood, as they say, in a, in a mood, in a mood, as they say. Whatever that means. It's ridiculous to have to pay that much for parking. Just the way I feel about it. Austin, get your crap together. Parking situation is ridiculous. Not gonna do the scooter thing, forget it. Just not gonna do it. And I need to get some stuff, so I went to Best Buy. While I'm there, I pull up into the parking lot that is free parking. Best Buy has free parking. Imagine that. Free parking. What a concept. Free parking. Who <laughs> would have ever thought, other than everybody in the world, free parking. <laughs> We pull up into the parking lot and there are about three of the bird scooters in the parking lot. And so, you know what? I gave it a shot. It doesn't work. I'm just pushing it. I lift it up and like there's no wheel pushing the thing and there's no wheel turning. It doesn't work. So I'm just kicking it like an idiot. Just kick, kick, kick. These things are slow, but I'm fat too. So that might have something to do with it. I'm not really sure. So I'm like 300 pounds of solid cat-like muscle. That might be a slight exaggeration. I, why am I paying for just a regular scooter? I want it to take me. I don't want to get hot. It's like a million percent humidity outside, but like it's really, really slow. Downhill's not too bad. Uphill's not happening. I had to push it the whole way. And so we mess around with it for a little bit. And we figure out that if you kind of tap it on the curb, I, I didn't bang it very hard. I just tapped it just like a, a little bit. I'm gonna try some more. It finally started working. Uh, once you get one going, it's really exhilarating. I'm having a blast on this thing. My daughter goes and she rents one too. So we're just in the parking lot riding around like morons uh, and having like the greatest time. It was a lot of fun. That's pretty good entertainment for 10 bucks, I think. I'm really considering buying one of these and riding it to work. It was fun, it's economical, it saves the environment. Well, that about does it. It's towards us. Wait, why? Because he, he was talking to it. How do I switch that? I don't know.